Hi, I've been thinking about the Audi TT that had the misfire, an injector shutting down, and I couldn't help thinking that I've missed something. I remember the earlier Volkswagens, the PD engine in the diesels used to wear the cam lobe, so instead of it being cam shaped, it was like a, a circle. And I thought, what if it's doing that? Because why I thought that was, what if there's been a faulty PCV valve at some time, and it's been, it isn't now, I checked it before, I'd already smoke tested it. Um, I did a couple of checks that I didn't show in the first video, but I was thinking, what if that's somehow soaking up the oil, lubricating the camshaft in that area? And that, that was right where the cylinder that was faulty was, that's where the PCV valve sits on top of the cam cover, right over the intake uh, cams. The intake cam, I mean, for cylinder 4. So I thought, well, maybe that's something I could check. It's going to affect them all evenly if it's variable valve lift. But I thought, if I've got a worn camshaft like the Volkswagen PD diesel engines used to get, I would get it on just one cylinder. And I thought, because the PCV valve was in the right area, if that's let it run with too little lubricant, maybe I've got the same thing and it's like I'm not getting as much air into the cylinder even though the valves are opening on the intake and closing on the intake at the same time when I compare it to the neighboring cylinder it's all opening and closing at the same time but it's not getting as much air in fair enough if you've got a leak down that shows it's leaking but I I had a leak down but it wasn't enough and I, I, I just thought yeah it was more than the other cylinder but I wanted it wasn't enough for me and it was bothering me so I actually went back to the car and had a look. The PCV valve, I unbolted it from the top of the cam cover, looked inside and there the, the camshaft was worn away and on cylinder 4 the cam lobe was worn down so I thought I'm glad I got all the data from the different areas because it made me rule things out I knew, I knew it wasn't valves, I knew it wasn't exhaust valves, inlet valves, by doing the the, uh, the test that I did. So I don't think they were wasted, and it all helped me put it together, and, you know, all the pieces of, of the puzzle, that if it's not the valves, and I didn't really get as bad a leak off as I was wanting to see, it just reminded me of the earlier PD engines, and, um, yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad I went back, took the cover off, and seen it all worn down. So I got a little bit of film of when I took the cover off what I found. It's not much but I'll show it to you. Back at the Audi TT and we've lifted off this PCV valve that goes into the intake. Now my thought was what if this has been stuck open and it's sucking in through the intake when you look at where this sits it's over the cylinder that's faulty. On the leak down tester we could get very slight through the crankcase on that cylinder that we didn't get on the one next to it. And also we could feel a pressure build up when it was doing the pulse test on there. But I never thought anything was enough to amount to anything but it's all we could find. We are getting some leakage on the leak down cylinder tester on this one that we're not on the other but it wasn't huge like I've seen on other ones. And that's why I thought, I'm going to come back and look at this. And although we have smoke tested this, uh, so it might be that this was faulty and it's been replaced in the past, but the damage has already been done to here. So in a way, I did miss something. I took all the evidence, though, and it was enough to know in my head it was like it has to be valve lift and because I had all the other pieces of the puzzle and I could I kept thinking valve lift so as soon as I had chance I asked him if I could go around and look at it is the car still there I'll go around 
have enough luck, I just want to check under the PCV valve and the camshafts were damaged, the roller rocker bearing with the rocker with the roller in it, that was all pitted, uh, quite a mess and I think this is what it is, if it's not lifting the valves as high, it's not going to draw in as much air and that's why it was only on one cylinder. Hope this helps somebody and thanks for watching.